Welcome back to the podcast, Life Under the Moon. I'm Sammy B, your host, and today's episode is going to be a little bit different. We are on episode four, and I wrote something a little while ago, a few months ago, we'll say. It was before Christmas, and it is now March. So this was, again, quite a few months ago. And I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing when I wrote this. And I didn't know that this would be something that I would record for a podcast. But I feel like it's something that I should share with you guys, with the world. So just a little bit of background before I get into the story. I mention a name of Sicily. That is the name of my cat. She's black and white, just so you have reference of what she might look like. And I am going to jump right in. So sit back, relax, maybe have a cup of tea with you, and let's jump in and just let your mind wander and listen and enjoy. I'm sitting in the middle of the forest in a pile of leaves by Sicily as I think about life and what it really means to me. The truth is, I know that I will eventually be where I am supposed to be, I don't know where that is yet. My main goal in life is freedom. Freedom to me equals happiness. Happiness is the ultimate goal in life. Different for everyone. Everyone has something that they love. But ultimately, we try our best to achieve what makes us happy. Could be big things for some people and small, simple things for others. Not one person's happiness is more important or unique or special than the next. It's what makes us human and gives us purpose. I don't have goals like most people. I know that for sure. How do I know that? Because most people I meet aren't happy. Not truly, deeply happy. And as far back as I can remember, that wasn't an option or a path for me. I've always known that we are here on earth for such a short time. Most people don't get to do what they love because they run out of time. Well, I wasn't going to let that happen to me. So I set off not knowing what I would be doing that would make me happy, but knowing I would follow the compass of my dreams. And that would lead me to ultimate freedom and happiness. Along the way, I made mistakes. Mistakes that were supposed to happen. Maybe some not, but I took away the lessons learned and the lessons that I needed, but always growing and moving forward. Even when it feels like I'm going backwards, I still hold on to my dream compass, knowing that one day that arrow will point directly to where I am standing, at me. I made it. I achieved all that I wanted. But lately... I wonder if that arrow is already pointing right at me. I always hear how life is not a race, but a journey. Perhaps we don't realize that we already won. The gift of experiencing existence, human life, with all its emotions, love, heartache, joy, pain, excitement, and learning to be better than who we were just a second ago. So as I sit here in the leaves, with the trees blowing softly above me, watching bugs crawl on me and try to ignore the fact that there could be so many more that I can't see. I look at Sicily and think, wow, this really is a beautiful life. Even though not just an hour ago, I was crying harder than I have in a long time. It's to appreciate time here spent on earth, the good, and the not so good. It's realizing what's right in front of you. I didn't know where this was going to go as I started to write this, but I'm glad I took the time to sit somewhere I knew I would be uncomfortable. No, not the ground itself. The all kinds of spiders crawling on me and feeling things that might sting a little, like the thought of being alone forever. I don't know what the future holds. I don't quite understand why humans feel the need to share their lives with someone. Is it safe to say you have it all without that special someone there beside you? 
Is it still a dream to go through life without someone there beside you? How come not very many people do it alone? Is it okay to walk this human life path experience alone? Or are we meant to find our match? Do we all have one? As I ask these questions, Cicely squeaks at me while turning her head upside down to look around at me and yawns. Perhaps a reminder that I am not alone. No, she is in my life for a reason and I am exactly where I need to be and she needs me too. We are never truly alone, ever. Just sometimes it feels like that. But if you just surrender and trust what is around you is good and there for a reason, you won't need to sit in a forest full of spiders and ask these questions. Although, perhaps this was needed. And now as I move forward, I sit here in the middle of my solar panels, wondering how am I going to manage through the winter? There's a voice that tells me that the answer to that will come in time. Still, it would be nice to know that answer now. I'm kind of worried about keeping warm and having power. But hey, I guess if I know deep down that there's an answer, then that will have to be enough for now. I never asked back then, how do I achieve happiness and freedom that I so badly crave? No, the answer was to trust that it will happen. I guess I forget that sometimes. Life, adulthood, we get brainwashed, we forget. Here is my reminder to you that you got this no matter what. Time to sign off. Until next time. Well, guys, that is something that obviously is very deep, very personal, but I wanted to share it with you because I do believe that we can all apply little messages throughout that into our own daily lives. Now you can take from that what you will. And that is going to be today's message for today's podcast. I want you to sit with that for a minute and ask yourself what resonated with you the most. Now we are moving on to the last section of our podcast where we speak about the moon phase that we're in and manifest somebody's wishes, one of our listeners' wishes. So today we have a full moon in Libra. And what that means for us is transforming relationship patterns. It also means taking strides into what's uncomfortable. A quote to live by today and for the next two weeks of this flavor of the moon is, be alive in every moment of life and live. So that is what we're going to take away through the next two week moon phase. I hope you guys are ready. Make sure you are living fully and presently in every moment and focus on the relationships around you and how you can perfect them and make them better for you. Now, we don't have any comments yet in our comments section. So we're going to manifest somebody's wish and I am going to make a wish for Sicily. I am going to wish for her health and safety because she means more to me than I knew possible. Thank you guys so much for listening. Let's go manifest our dreams with our life under the moon. I'll see you on the next new moon.